So welcome back to video two of this mini series. And I know that you've probably been excitingly waiting for it to pop into your inbox because this time it's all about sex. And um, so you're here as always with Tony V and the amazing um, Nikki V. And this is one of our favorite, favorite subjects of all to speak about. That's a great song, isn't it? What? Let's talk, talk about, about sex, sex, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah that song. You, well, it's many talks, many <laughs> songs about sex. Um, yes, welcome back. And as we said in the first video in this series, the reason why we have put this series together is because so often whatever is happening in your relationship that's causing it to not be where you want it to be, one of the biggest costs, one of the biggest things that is affected is the sex the intimacy part of your relationship. And we have a bit of a saying actually that we've been saying a long, long time, which is whatever happens outside the bedroom will happen out inside the bedroom. And that's why today talking about sex, as, as Tony was just saying, is we really want to explain to you why we see sex as one of the problems. You might go, what? Like, you know, because so often we have couples come to us and they kind of go, look, you know, we're not getting on, we're arguing about the kids, about money, about house, about social, about the family, you know, whatever, whatever's not working in the relationship. They go, yeah, but the sex is great. And one of the things we want to explain is why we see that as only, you know, we see that as a bit of a danger sign and you're probably going, what? So we're like, because what the sex will be doing is it will be actually a functional thing which we'll go into in a lot of detail in a moment but it will be doing a couple of things it will be meeting some sort of addiction or it will just be to release the stress of whatever's happening in life and that's why we say what's ever happening inside outside the bedroom is happening inside the bedroom and that's why we're saying the sex is not a good thing so you know if you go yeah. don't switch off because <laughs> there's yeah. some interesting stuff to talk about yeah we're just going to make the differential so the next video is actually about intimacy yes. so we're making the differential that sex uh, the word sex is become a sort of a you know, it's in, in, in Britain, I know, it's like a sort of a bit of a taboo subject. It's the one thing that couples find it the most difficult to share. So we're sort of putting the, the sort of unhealthy uh, word to the word sex. And to the word intimacy, we're putting the word healthy. So on the next video, we're going to be talking about healthy lovemaking. What does that look like? How do you do that? Why is it different? All of that sort of stuff. Today, we're talking about the unhealthy sex life that people get into that they then suddenly can't get out of. And as Nikki says, it could be everything from no sex to um, masses of sex that is actually not meeting the needs of one or both of the partners to the point where the relationship is being massively affected. Yes, so where do we start? Um, you normally go first. I know, yeah, it's <laughs> so such okay, a big subject. Tell us about go. men with sex. Okay, so look, one of the challenges <laughs> is that you know men have got labelled by women and perhaps are not totally unfairly that all they ever want to do is have sex, yeah? And and why is that? Look, if we understand why that is the case, then actually it's the, the first thing we can do is do something about it. But if we just like, you know, slide it under the carpet and take no notice of it, this could be the very thing that destroys your your relationship so why and is it future relationships yeah. unfortunately so why is it that you know pornography is indeed the biggest business in the world it's because it feeds a need an unhealthy need in men and what is that all about look so if you're a person that lives in your head 24 7 in other words you're not doing what we suggested in video one which is connecting with your heart space and that love inside of you there's an element there's an energy inside of you that craves for that feeling absolutely craves for that feeling but the misconception is that we can get it outside of ourselves so what is pornography pornography is a, a way of having sex outside of yourself basically that is it and now you can be doing that with your partner as well so you know sex with your partner could be you know i'd say to you if you're having red sex as we call it it tends to imply that you're in your head having sex so in other words you're making images in your head whilst having sex which can be quite pornographic if you're into porn then you know these images are you know instilled on your brain and then when you come to your partner and you start having sex then you're having sex in a pornographic way which is very unhealthy now why do men get um, into that? It's primarily because the modern world is a place that creates 
enormous amounts of stress energy in our body. So most people are inadvertently walking around with a high level of stress. And as you remember me mentioning the heart math people in video one, um, actually if you do um, splash out, I, I think it'll be the best 200 quid, if you live in England it costs about 200 quid, is to buy yourself a heart math gadget and find out what's going on inside of you because it actually measures what's mm. going on inside of you. And once you learn to do the technique, which I know I shared very quickly, um, you will find that your levels of stress will diminish, diminish, diminish. And this has a massive effect on you, of course, and your relationship. But it has an unbelievable effect on your sex life if you're a guy. So your addiction, your need to keep going back to release this stress. So really, if, if we think about it, the fastest way for man to release his stress is actually to have an orgasm. And that's why, you know, it's very quick and easy in the modern world to go to pornography and just, you know, release that stress, whatever it is. But of course, if you're doing that in, uh, with your woman, in other words, you're then going and having sex with your woman in a stressed manner, what you do completely inadvertently is actually, crudely almost, insert that stress into your woman. You literally are giving her your uh, stress energy because the release is not the right energy. It's, it's sort of red, darker energy. <sighs> oh, we've, started, <laughs> we've started off. I think, I'll just speak from a woman's perspective. Actually, just hearing you that made me feel really emotional. You know, it made me feel really sad. In, in, if I, It was a funny word to use. But because, you know, as Tony and I have learned this over the years, we've recognised how difficult our, uh, you know, our early relationships, our first marriages and second marriages, etc., were because we can now see that that what was going on. And of course, it's the same for women. You know, it's a stressful environment. We've got the kids and we've now got our business or the job and we've got the house and we've got the traffic and we've got our mothers and fathers and we've got all that sort of thing going on. So often what happens is that there's kind of two sorts of things. Well, women are always more complicated, of course. There's two sorts of women. There's the women who are at what I call in more masculine energy where we're in more, and I hold my hand up to how that's exactly how I used to live my life, in which case, I actually look towards sex myself, which is a kind of masculine trait, to release some of that tension and some release some of that um, uh, stress. Whereas the, there's other types of women who perhaps are not that kind of energy, who are basically going, look, I just want somebody, they're very needy of somebody to hold them. I mean, I just remember, um, you know, Tony telling me about the, the re a previous relationship he had. He had with a woman who had a really, really bad experience as a child. She'd had, you know, some abuse and things like that. But she was still kind of addicted to having sex purely to have a man hold her. She was almost like just craving for it the whole time. So she didn't actually want to have sex. She just wanted to have a man hold her. But of course, because she was in that energy, she was attracting a lot of male stressful energy, which was, you know, causing them to have sex in that way. But the reason why it feels sad for me is that over the years, what happens is that women actually become, you know, we become like men in the way that we have sex. So, you know, one of the things that, you know, Tony was talking about was talking about the pornography. Well, in both men and women, what we've seen, which has been so sad in some of the couples that we've helped, because when we do, our, you know, our couples coaching, we often go and live with the couples. And, you know, we do get to talk about some of the intimate things, either together with the four of us, or maybe Tony talks with the guy and I talk with the woman. But so often what they've done is to, in the, because this, 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 this kind of meeting this need to release from stress is also becomes addictive and what happens is it becomes this kind of insatiable you know it's it's like a bottomless pit that can never be fulfilled so what happens is that often we start to use you know other things like toys or different positions or dressing up or anything and if you're thinking yeah you know i really like all that that's because you're going for a, a higher high, as it were. And you're going for, like, and this is for both men and women, you're going to try and fulfill this insatiable need for having this high. And of course, it's everything that's not natural. And as Tony said, what we're going to be talking about in the next video is what making love is 
compared to having sex and that's why we call that intimacy rather than sex but it does sadden me because I think that it's so often we get into this sort of um, place of look, going for higher highs and often if if both for both men and women again if the their partner is not fulfilling that high at a high enough level they will look outside of the relationship to have that need fulfilled or they'll look for even more excitement in the sex that they have um, you know which is really very very unsatisfactory because it also often one partner is not as willing as the other partner to um, explore and to be adventurous and it leads them to be even more disconnected but in their minds the sex is kind of better which yeah, of yeah. course is why we don't agree there's with some that. crazy things going on out there now you know i'm not saying that you would have got involved in this level of craziness but look there's craziness where you know men for example want to have two women at the same time or they want to be with another couple and those sorts of things now look i use the word crazy deliberately because you know at the end of the day this is everything that's not great about intimacy it's the very thing that will drive your relationship to the edge and over it into oblivion and unless you learn this stuff then actually what's going to happen is you are likely to do it again because that energy is in your body that addictive patterns created that addictive chemistry is created from the addictive thinking and you're just on a roundabout till you die so you better start to think about how am I going to learn this now if indeed you feel your relationship is in any way sexually unhealthy in the way that we have described it and primarily that is where orgasm or an orgasmic release either for the man or the woman or both of you is what's paramount at your in your sexual experience either together or separately or with other people or however that's that's all working trust me we've heard it all nothing can make me go grayer than i am already <laughs> i'm going look i do my best not to judge anyone i have done you know i was sexually addicted so i don't have any problem sharing any of my stories but i had to learn this to be able to have a loving intimate relationship which is what we're going to share tomorrow or you know in the next video um, about intimacy is a completely different thing but I had to go personally and I know Nikki did as well down the red route as we call it the sex route um, where we found out ultimately it's a bit of a dead end and it ends up um, destroying your relationships if indeed you don't get it sorted and of course on the other end of course what what can happen is one of the, one of you sex addicted and the other one doesn't want to know yeah do you know I was just <laughs> going to say about that because as you were talking about I was thinking about it it was that like often what happens for a woman especially is that because we kind of have a feeling that this isn't what it is we know that this isn't it we know that this isn't how love making supposed to happen we kind of in, we, we we know that you know women aren't built that way and and often what happens you know um is that women start to behave more like men and actually they we actually find as women that we cannot have a very natural full body kind of orgasmic experience so we turn to having a clitoral experience a, an orgasm and you know multiple multiple of those which again is very it'll release a little bit of the stress but will leave us feeling kind of you know like not liking that experience and, and needing more you and know, what happens is more. then cosmopolitan come along oh, don't get yeah, me wrong absolutely. with cosmopolitan but they they did in even in my time go you know how you can teach a man to find a clitoris kind of thing and um and and they will be saying to you that actually you don't need a man you don't need a man at all. You can release or, you know, you can, you can, you know, use all sorts of things and you don't need a man. You can have the sexual experience you want to have without a man. Well, I am going to go here on record to say they are completely wrong because if you continue to feel that way and look that way and see sex as something that you don't want or that you want at a higher level and you keep wanting to have it with different men and with different things and all that sort of thing, you know, what you'll find is that you'll, as Tony says, this will just go on and on and on and all your relationships will have the same kind of feeling. So that is why, you know, it sounds like we're going on about this, but I agree with Tony. Look, the only reason why I understand this is because I've been through it. I know how unsatisfying and how unhappy I was and I didn't know why. But now I understand it's because none of that 
is what we're talking about. It's yeah. like the last video. This is nothing to do with love. This is nothing to do with love making. This is purely the way that the world has, you know, come come to be like lately and actually what we want to share with you is what needs to happen so that you have absolutely blissful release of that emotionality indeed indeed and i think there's there might be one category or we might have left more than one category yes. of person out but certainly one category of woman that i've experienced is a woman that withdraws from all of this yes and so she becomes you know sexually non-active yes. or withhold sex and uses it as a weapon against her man and of course this is also not great he'll he'll definitely become more sex addicted start looking for sex outside of relationship all sorts of things there so maybe you know same with men yeah, yeah. you know same look, with men. there there are the whole withdrawal hold back is still two energies that are not in great connection so none well, of that is it's working also the th thing that's been on the television in the uk recently has been a lot about em erectile dysfunction hasn't mm. it and it's really sad to see men and it's they do it very very nicely on the on the um, television they show a man avoiding going to bed you know, so if you're in a situation which we know from many of the couples that we have, whereas the man's staying up very, very late at night, the woman's going to bed earlier and the woman's moaning and going like, you know, we're not having any intimacy and he's kind of going, yeah, well, you know, maybe if he's telling the truth, he doesn't want to have intimacy with her or with anybody. But actually what's happening is somehow those two people are trying to get those needs met. And that's why we want to share with you what you need to do now we started with the first video so let's not pretend that these are this is a video series these are not stand alone videos because the exactly what we said on the first video is that you need to get yourself in a loving space which means non trying to get from the other person non you know not trying to get your um you know your stress released it means that you go into a loving space and then you are as a woman um you know able to um have man make love to you and as a man you're able to make love to a woman Indeed, indeed. So that's sort of, I think we've had a quit there while we're on top, so to speak. Excuse <laughs> the pun. Um, but yeah, look, um, that's sex. If you do feel that we've touched any buttons, or maybe we've missed your button out, you know. Yeah, but if you do. feel like you're on some sort of sexual roller coaster, or not on a roller coaster, and you like to get on some, some things, nothing's happening. Look, you know, that's why I go, look, sexual problems can be from nothing happening to way too much happening and, yes. and none of that can be healthy so look if that is you then i know uh, we certainly know it's one of the most difficult things for people especially the brits we're very prudish um to actually talk and share about but remember we've got our you know buttons above right now which is there to help and support you that's what we do uh it's what we love to do is to see you blossom and shine with the love that we know is inside every human being it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman it's in there locked in waiting to be unlocked if only you knew how and this is one of the things that keeps it locked in there tight so um if you need to talk about it you know there's buttons around to press and we're here to help you so uh the next video is all about intimacy which is much more about how you can have great intimacy together and have the connection that you may have always dreamed of but never felt i remember helping one couple once um who who came to us after about their third session now, not that we do particularly do sessions but uh, the third time was sharing time with us and um, we said okay so what's your challenge today as they sat there opposite us and they said we haven't got one we haven't got one but they drove halfway across the country to share with us that for the first time after 20 odd years of, of being together they felt that by learning what we would shared they for the first time had experienced love and intimacy together so that was an amazing amazing moment so look you know if that's you and you want to have that then check in with the intimacy video which is coming up uh, next in the series and we'll do our best to explain in 10 or 20 minutes um, how you can uh, start to have the intimacy you desire so from me tony v and the amazing nikki v i uh, will see you on the next video bye for now.